Hey guys, Fred here again from Focus Fun Fitness. As you can see, I have a dog in my hand. So this is my mother's dog, Freedom. He's a good little guy, kind of small for my taste. But the reason why I'm holding an animal during this video is because I want to talk about eating meat, snout to tail. I know you might have heard about that if you've read anything about the paleo world or whatever, but they kind of talk about eating all parts of the animal. Um, so yeah, you know, organ meat is good. I know it's not the easiest to eat. It's not the most palatable, but there's ways you can work around that. And, um, you know, making sure if you get fowl, like if you buy any kind of bird, like the chicken or the duck or whatever, trying to make sure you eat the skin on. There's lots of important nutrients and amino acids in the skin and the bones. That's why bone broth is so important. Um, besides just many of the aspects and nutrients of it, you know, it has a amino acid called glycine, uh, which is only in the skin and bones. And to, that's an important amino acid to have. It kind of neutrifies a lot of the other amino acids. They, you know, they blend well together so that your systems can utilize it more efficiently and um, all the good fats that are in the different parts of the animal. So don't just get stuck on always eating like the prime meat, you know, try some of the lesser meats sometimes. You can always just get them in a stew um, or, um, you know, a slow cooker or something to make it a lot easier with some veggies and stuff. So just some ideas, some things, way of thinking different about your meat eating and um, you know, maybe if you haven't tried raw fish before doing something like that, just again, changing it up, trying to get different fats and there's different amino acids and all these different elements. So instead of eating my buddy Freedom here, we'll eat the entire cow. Okay guys, thanks and as always, stay focused and have fun. Bye.